Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial. And today we are going to be learning how to create a wholesale area into your Shopify store. Now there are different methods including using the code, but in this tutorial, we are going to be doing it without using coding. So you don't need any coding language for you to do this. So when you get to your Shopify store here, you come down here, I show you the first process, you click on apps, and then you come here and click on apps and sales channel settings. You click on that. And then here on the top right hand side, you click on Shopify App Store. And then it brings you here. So at the top here, you type the word wholesale. And you notice we have all these apps that you can use for wholesale, especially for B2B, that is business to business. You can get pricing, quantity, and volume discounts and shipping using any of these apps. You simply click on any app. Let's say, for instance, you want to use the Wholesale Gorilla. You'll click on that, and then you click on Install. So that's the first process of using an app. So how else can we do it without, use, without using an app? So I'll click back here and close this app part. So you will come down here. To your online store you click on online store and then you come down here on your theme and you click on customize then at the top here or even on this other side you notice we have the home page if you open that you notice we have all this we have pages we have collections and all this so you can create a page here then you have a collection that now will lead to this page so let's create the page first you click on pages here and then you click on create template and then you give the name here you give it a name for instance be a wholesaler or let's call it just wholesale so that will be our wholesale page and then what will it be based on you base it on contact so you open that and click on contact and then you click on create template and so we have our page added there and then you can change this part and possibly edit it to contact us for wholesale. And then you click on save. And then you now click on go back. And then now you come down here on your online store again. Then click on customize. At the top here, click on homepage again. And then you create a collection. Now make sure you have make sure you already have products added. So that you only add them to your collection so click on collections and then you notice now we have a default collection that we already had but you can also create a template on that so maybe you can call this one shoes and then what will it be based on it will be based on default collection and then you click on create template and so you now notice we have our collection here added you notice we have one item already here so you can add more items and there's a different tutorial in this YouTube channel on how to add those. So you notice now here, we are in the shoes collection. Now, if we go to customers, if now I go back here and then go to my online store, then customize, then at the top here, if now I click on that homepage and look at my collections, you'll notice now my collection here for shoes is already there. So now I'll go back here and then come here under customers, click on customers. And now if I add a customer, let's say I just click on add customer, then I can add the customer name here and uh, their details and click on save. Now you notice we have our customer added here. We have Joe Much, a customer added. This customer has not placed any orders yet. Now, if a customer logs in and sends an order on wholesale, what I'll do is I'll simply come here for create order. This customer hasn't placed an order. I click on create order. And then for such products here, I can add custom item or I can browse depending on the wholesale. So if I click on browse, you notice here. So notice here for search for the products here, 
if I search for the products, I'll get the only products that I've added. So, so if I click on customers here, you notice my customer is here. So assuming this customer now subscribes through the form we created, I just click on the customer. Then I'll see their order here. And then you notice now I can add their details here. So I can create for them an order. I'll simply click on create order here. Here, create order. And then now I can search for the products here. I, and then I just add them in wholesale. For instance, if I type bike, you notice I can add that and then add that to the customer. And then I can add more items simply by typing the same add custom item. Then I can look for the item here, whichever item that is there. And then I'll click on add item. Maybe I want to add scooter. So I search for scooter in my items. It was there. Click on that, add. So now I have added all the products for this client for wholesale. Then I'll come down here, confirm all these details, then send an invoice. I can also edit other things here. On I can send notes here. I click on that, then I can type the notes for that customer. Thank you for buying from us. Then I can type all the details there. Then I click on done. Then down here, I can click on collect payment. So I can enter the credit card here or I can mark as paid. I can also use payment due later so that now this payment can be done at a later date. And now you notice our customer here already has items in bulk or in wholesale, has the bike, has the bike, the other one that requires shipping, has the scooter, and you notice those are the products that are in our catalog here. So if now I want to collect the payment, I can click on mark as paid. And then this will create an order and mark this order as paid. If you received the total amount here, I can click on create order if I have already received this amount. And that is how you simply add a wholesale area in your Shopify store. Now, remember what we said about using the app. You can use the app. You simply click on apps here and then you come to apps, sales channel settings. And then at the top here, you search for wholesale. And then you come to Shopify App Store here. Once you click on that, you type here wholesale. And then you notice we have all these apps that are there. So we have those that have a free plan. And then we have those that have a trial. Like you notice this one, wholesale pricing discount B2B has 21 day free trial. We have the wholesale gorilla that has 30 days free trial. And then the B2B wholesale solution has a free plan. So this B2B wholesale plus forms and pricing is also free, not even just a free plan, but it's a free one that you can use. So you can also use these apps to create the wholesale area in your Shopify store. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.